Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Engine. Today, we're gonna be searching for alien life inside of the Sombrero galaxy. So here it is, we are right outside of it right now. This is one of the most famous galaxies and the picture of it, like the Hubble picture I think, is one of the coolest galaxy pictures I think. So I wanted to go in here today and see what kind of stuff we can find and we will also be searching for Earth-like planets and life. So let's just fly into it here and we're gonna start by just clicking around Round. Oh, whoa, two sets of binary planets in the same system. This is kind of cool. That looks very, very similar to Neptune, actually. It's even got like a similar kind of storm. So it's a gas giant and a rocky planet, both binary with each other. Whoa, okay, wait, this kind of looks cool. Very, very cool looking planet. Uh, let's go ahead and land on it. So yeah, we're just gonna be looking around today and I will be searching for alien life, but we're gonna start out by just looking at some of these planets uh, and we'll see what kind of different stuff we can find around here. Well, this ground pattern is kind of kind of cool looking almost like ridges, but is that actually there? It looks like it's almost a pattern on the ground. I don't know if I've seen that texture before. That's kind of cool. And then you can see there is the gas giant that it's binary with. Super, super blue atmosphere. I think the star kind of makes this whole system look really blue because it's the star is blue, uh, which you can see here. So it's giving off a blue light. That's why all of these look blue, I think. So this planet might not actually be as blue as it looks. What if we turn off atmospheres? So it does look like the atmosphere gives off some blue light, but yeah, the actual surface isn't that colored. It's kind of like dull colored. That is cool. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. I'm gonna see if I can find any life just by clicking around. Sometimes I find some. Okay, let's go to this one. This brown one right here looks kind of cool. Ooh, okay, wait, the craters, look at these craters. They almost have like this star pattern going out like they're bright colored. It's like trying to simulate when an object would collide and then like the fragments of that object would fly out. But look at the, the cool details on this. It's cratered all over, actually. Like, you get closer and you can see all these little craters everywhere. Um, and that's what happens when you don't have an atmosphere to burn up your any collisions. Because how big is this? 2.2 times the mass of Earth? Wow, okay, so this is actually bigger than Earth. And you can see how many craters there are. Uh, also on Earth, they'll get kind of removed over time because of the erosion on Earth. So this might be what Earth would look like if there was no atmosphere or any life on it with all these craters. Kind of cool, because they just stay forever. Even like... <laughs> You go to like a big crater and they just have smaller craters inside of that, those craters and then those small craters have craters inside of them. It's kind of insane how many different holes there are. Oh, this is weird. I don't know if it's supposed to stop like this. I'm not, that's probably a bug. I've never seen this. Where I've seen these like weird, um, what, what would you even call them? Like cracks almost, but I've never seen them abruptly end like this. Cause look how tall that is actually. Like if we're on the ground, it's like a mountain, but that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, cool looking planet. Let's search for life. We're not gonna search for Earth-like planets yet, just life in general. Okay, so where should we go? Let's go towards the center of the Sombrero galaxy. We go in here and then we'll open our star browser. Um, let's search for multicellular life. Okay, so there's actually a lot. Here we we go this one has marine and terrestrial life um so this is kind of earth-like it has an earth similarity index of 94 percent which is actually really high so this is kind of an earth-like planet it's not exactly the same parameters as earth but it does have water and it does have land and it has life in the water and on land uh so generally you want a lot of water for good life coverage but this doesn't seem like it has that much water is that really it it might be so either life didn't evolve in the oceans on here or there were more oceans in the past and they all dried up the gravity is very similar to earth it's actually very very similar in size to earth the temperature is pretty cold though negative 100 celsius is the average which is very cold so it makes me wonder what kind of life would live here is this grass so we got these really mountainous areas and it does look like they have grass on them which is interesting like i don't know how well grass would grow in in mountain ranges like this very kind of cool pattern though it's almost like trippy with all the way it flows around these mountains it looks like most of the life is probably concentrated in these mountain ranges. Are these kind of fields or are these still mountain ranges? Oh, it's definitely more flat over here. Uh, what's interesting about Earth is Earth's moon is very, very large compared to the parent body. It's actually rare to have a moon be that big because all of these are going to be much, much smaller than Earth's moon. 
they're all just kind of little asteroids but that's cool now let's go to another part of the galaxy and we're gonna search for earth-like planets in particular so that was towards the center let's go in one of these arms uh so to search for earth-like life we're gonna go to temperate marine terra because that's the same parameters as what earth shows up as and we're gonna search for multicellular life too okay so there's actually a few which is pretty lucky this one has two objects with life is this one gonna be subglacial okay so this system here has an earth like planet and it's also the third planet from the sun which is kind of weird because that's how earth is too and this looks very similar to earth earth similarity index is at 89 and you can just tell like being on this planet it looks very similar to earth even with the color of the sky and different mountains and stuff the one thing that's gonna destroy the life chance on this is the solar day you can see it says infinite right here which means that it's tidally locked uh the same side is gonna always face the star which you can see that here and you can actually it looks like it has a big enough moon that you can almost start to see the back of it look at that the reflection of these moons are bright enough that you can get a little bit of light back here whoa okay wait i want to know we can turn up the ambient lighting and we can actually see what the back of this is going to look like and you can definitely tell what kind of effect tidal locking has on the planet you can see the back side is completely covered in ice it looks like because this side is super cold it never sees the sun that's a cool looking planet though I, it is cool to see how half of it is cold and all iced up and half of it looks good for life really really cool okay this one might actually be better than the last one okay this one's got excellent water amounts and look it almost has a big moon like us this actually could be very earth-like what's our earth similarity is 89 uh which is high and it does have excellent water coverage because you generally want most of the planet to be water because that's how earth is so this looks like even more coverage than earth has you can see there's definitely small islands from volcanoes that are popping up and yeah that does kind of look like our moon very very cool actually what's our temperature oh it's cold negative 96 i'm surprised it's not all iced up so there is active volcanoes all over the surface so this is probably a pretty young planet very um the core is very active uh pretty cool it's very high pressure almost 12 atmospheres of pressure so that's a lot higher than earth um so it'd be interesting to see what kind of life would get here because even small changes in a planet can completely change what the life looks like i think a very good example of that is if you've seen avatar how they live on a smaller moon they don't live on a planet they live on a moon and the gravity's less which makes um a lot of the animals in the movie have like six legs instead of four because they need more grip because there's less gravity just little things like that it'd be cool to see um okay we'll look at one more planet here Ooh, it's a binary system we got double suns in this system and this one whoa okay look at the ground on this that is not the green that i would have expected it is almost like a pink is it like sand Ooh, we kind of have a desert world with the double suns that like tattooing here is it going to show both suns so it looks like this system has one like really bright star and then one super dim star so it would almost be like you can see better during a full moon but with this planet it'll be like you can see better when the red dwarfs out but it's still pretty dark so this one's got an earth similarity index of 94 so this is the highest one we've seen today gravity is very similar to earth this one's also tidally locked so not as good for life but because it has two stars the other side doesn't look frozen so i assume it's probably tidally locked to the brighter star i think this system has two stars but one of them is in orbit like a planet yeah i think that's what it is we can actually zoom out and see oh no 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 it's not it's each star has their own planets so there are going to be times of the year when you're not going to see the red dwarf at night so i wonder how that would affect different things on this planet pretty cool though that was the sombrero galaxy uh we looked at a few cool things in there let me know in the comments which galaxy you want me to go look for life and other stuff in next thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video